Now unto the Lamb upon the throne We raise our sound We raise our sound Oh, for you are God and God alone Hallelujah, hallelujah Unto the Lamb upon the throne Unto the Lamb upon the throne lift your voice unto Him this morning We raise a sound We raise a sound For you are God and God of the Lord For you are God My protection, my atmosphere, my sweet perfume. In you I live and have my being. Jesus, my all in all. My foundation, my protection, 
my atmosphere, my sweet perfume. In you I live and have my being. Jesus, my Lord, my foundation, my foundation, my protection, my atmosphere, my sweet perfume. In you I live and have my being. Jesus, my Lord, my foundation, my foundation, my protection, my atmosphere, my sweet perfume. In you I live. And have my being, Jesus, my Lord. We lift your name, Jesus. We lift your name. Yes, we lift your name. Yes, we lift your name. We lift your name. Your name. Your name. Your name. Jesus, we lift your name. unto him. Give him glory. He deserves it. Oh yes, we give you glory, Jesus. Come and seek in tongues to him tonight. Raise a voice to him this morning. He deserves all the glory. Yes, we lift your name higher, Jesus. Oh yes, we lift your name. the name of the Lord for great things that the Lord is doing in our midst at this time. Let's begin to thank him for his wonderful love, for his faithfulness. God, we thank you. God, we bless your name for your faithfulness, for your wonderful love. Thank you for being with us at this time. Thank you for helping us. Let's ask for God's mercy to keep us to the end of this fasting and praying time. Let's ask God for his mercy to prevail over every judgment against us. Let's ask him for his tender mercy over our lives. Oh, Father, we ask for mercy. Let your mercy speak for us. Let your mercy prevail. 
over every judgment against us. God, show us your mercy. Have mercy upon us, O Lord. Be merciful unto us, Jehovah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are prayed. Amen. Everlasting Father, tonight, as we go into your word again, let your word come with power tonight. Open heavens over these people. Wherever you are hearing me from, let the presence of God be with you there. Every prayer we shall pray tonight shall be answered. The Lord will look up unto us. His eyes will shine upon us today. In the name of Jesus, Lord, fill my mouth with your word. Anoint my tongue like the tongue of the prayer writer. Let my lips be gracious. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, Lord. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. And amen. Good morning, everyone. What a mighty God we serve. We're coming little by little to the close of this fasting and praying time. And I know God is doing something great in Amish. And I know that God is answering our prayers one way or the other. I know that you are having testimonies. And those that God has answered their prayer, I say, glory be to the Lord. And those that are still waiting, the Lord will answer you speedily in the name of Jesus. Tonight, we're going to be praying shortly on, on divine preservation. Divine preservation. And we're taking a test from Psalm 121, verses 7 to 8. The book of Psalm 121, 7 to 8. It says, The Lord. I read again. It says, The Lord shall preserve you and me. From all evil, it shall preserve your soul. Verse 8. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. I say the Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. One of the... Uh, a gender of God for us as children of God is to preserve our lives. One of the benefits of being in the Lord is to enjoy God's preservation. Just as salt preserves things from getting rotten, from getting bad. So does God preserve our lives, preserve our soul that no evil will be able to befall us. Preservation the word preservation, the word uh, preservation is the act of keeping or protecting something or somebody. I say again, the word preservation is the act of keeping or protecting something or somebody from damage, from loss, from harm or danger. So God's plan for us as children of God is to preserve us from danger, preserve us from, from being damaged by the enemy, preserve us from, from harm, from loss. And that is why that Psalm 121 verse 7 to 8 says, the Lord shall preserve us from all evil. How many evil? All evil. If you are in the Lord, no evil shall be for you. In the name of Jesus. He shall preserve our soul. The Lord plan for us is to preserve our soul. Because when your soul is tampered with, your life is tampered with. Your soul is the engine of your life. And that is why God preserves our soul. So that we can be sane. So that we can be sound. So that we can take sound decisions. We can have sound mind. The Lord also preserves our going out. And our coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. I pray for somebody. Every time you go out, you, you will come back home well in the name of Jesus. I say whenever our children go out, they will return back home well in the name of Jesus. Anything, any of our loved ones, anytime they go out, they will return back home well in the name of Jesus. One of the examples of divine preservation was when God kept the children of Israel from danger and harm. In the, when they were in the land of Egypt, when the Lord was fighting Pharaoh and the Egyptian, the Lord releases 11 types of plague over Egypt. 
Do you know with all the plague that affected Egypt, Israel, the Israelites was preserved. None of the plague come near them or their children, even their animals were preserved. And that is one thing about God. When you are preserved by God, everything that concerns you is preserved. Even people that are connected to you, they are preserved. That is why the anointing that flows from the head goes to the bed. That, that is why anointing flows from the top. When God preserved the Israelites, he also preserved their animals. The plague did not enter their place in Goshen. It was as if nothing was happening. Even the last plague, when he killed the firstborn of the Egyptians from the, from the firstborn of Pharaoh and all the firstborn of their animals, nothing happened to the Israelites. They were preserved. Ah, may God preserve us. I, I pray again and say, may the Lord preserve us and our household in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, there are so many dangers that God has preserved our lives from. In the time of famine, he preserves us. In this time of high cost of living, God is preserving us. Some of us, we cannot say how we're surviving with the high cost of living, high mortgage, high rent, high cost of feeding. But we are not begging for bread. We are not homeless. It is because God preserved us. I know many of us, we can't put to paper, pen to paper to say, this is how much I, I, I earn, this is how much I spend. The arithmetic will not be won't make sense. But we are alive. We are not begging. We are not homeless. We are not foodless. Our children are eating. Our children are going to school. We are surviving. Why? Because of the preservation of God. There are so many evil out there, but God preserves us. He preserved our children. He not allow evil to befall us. We are always under His canopy of of coverage. He said the the Bible said that the eyes of the Lord goes to and fro for your sake and for my sake, just to make sure that no evil befall us. That is divine preservation. And that is what we are going to be praying for tonight. For God to preserve us. There are so much danger out there. So much wickedness is happening out there. Even with the invent of this internet. A lot of people, especially the young ones, they have been, they, they have been monitored through this internet. Through all these channels. Snapchat. Blah, blah, Instagram, everything. Shouting with people they do not know. Teaching them evils. All these cartoons. Some of them are evil. That's why we must select the cartoons our children watches. There are some cartoons that teaches them immorality. There are some cartoons that teaches them evil. There are some cartoons that teaches them how to commit suicide. And that's why... We have to be careful these days. And that's why we must make sure that we are under the canopy of God. That we are under his coverage. That his shield is, is protecting us. And our children, all our household. So that no evil, wickedness, witchcraft operation is in high operation right now. Except the Lord protect you. Except according to Psalm 107. Say, except the Lord keep the city, those that washes, washes in vain. Hallelujah. May the pressure of God never leave us. Psalm 37, verse 18 to 19, the Bible says, He said, The Lord knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. Verse 19, He said, They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. That is when the protection of God is upon us. Let me quickly give you three keys so that we can go to pray right now to connect divine preservation. If you want to be under the preservation of God, the, these three key points is very important. Number one, you must be living an upright life. Living an upright life. 
Don't do mago mago with God. Be straight with the Lord. If you are serving God, serve God. If you are a child of God, be a child of God. Not a child of God in the church and a child of the devil outside. If you are a child of the light, don't walk with darkness. Psalm 1 says, if you want to be blessed by the Lord, don't sit in the seat of the scornful. Don't walk with sinners. Be distinguished. Let people know you as a child of God. In, not just in the Bible you carry, in your character. In your actions, in your words, be upright, living before God, living upright before God, and God's protection will be on you. His eyes will not depart from you because God loved the beloved. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 34, the Bible says, Righteousness exalts a nation. But sin is a reproach to any people. Righteousness, exalted nation, sin is a reproach. So when you live upright, you are preserved by God. Number two, when you dwell in God's presence, that makes sure that you are always in His presence through meditation, meditating in His words, singing spiritual hymns and song, always cautioning your environment. To have the presence of God through your praying and fasting. Always culture your home. Culture your environment. Everywhere you go, culture the environment. Release His presence wherever you go. Be a carrier of His presence. And then He will shield you. And then He will preserve you. He will not allow evil to come upon you. Am I speaking to somebody? Being in the secret place of God is the safest place to be for man's life. When you are in the secret place, in the hiding place, when you are always under the shadow of the Almighty, is the safest place to be. Psalm 32 verse 7 says, You are my hiding place. That's what the psalmist wrote. David wrote that psalm. He said, God, you are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. Don't allow psalms, hymns, spiritual songs to leave your lips. Surround yourself with songs of God. And finally, number three, your service in God's kingdom. Your service. People don't know that those who serve God are preserved by God. Those who, uh, who are serving God with all their hearts, with all their strength. They are under the coverage of God. God loves those who serve Him. I mean, who are serving God diligently, wholeheartedly. Are you hearing me, somebody? Exodus 23, 25. Exodus 23, 25 says, So you shall serve the Lord your God, and He will bless your bread and your water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of you. Look at it. When you serve the Lord your God, He preserves you. He will bless your bread and your water. That is your work. That is, He will make sure that you have there is food on your table. He, he, he will not allow sicknesses to come into your life and into your midst. Hallelujah. Beloved, we need to be under the preservation of God. We need to do His will. We need to live an upright life. Hallelujah. We need to dwell in His presence always. And we need to serve Him. Psalm 91 verse 7, the Bible says, A thousand will fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. It will not come near you. I want us to pray. I want you to stand up wherever you are. Let us declare this words tonight. Let us pray. Let us. This night is more of declaration prayer. Hallelujah. We will just thank the Lord tonight for this great opportunity to, to pray, to preserve your life, preserve your home. Hallelujah. I want you to declare like this. Oh, let's pray this first one like this. Say, say I soak my life. I soak my children. I soak my loved ones. 
in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to soak yourself in the blood of Jesus. Hold on, I soak myself in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I soak my children in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I soak all my loved ones in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I soak you and your children in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I soak this ministry in our hands in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Help Every member of this, I soak them in the blood of Jesus. Everyone connected to us, I soak them in the blood of Jesus. All the people that are watching me this morning, I soak you in the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. I want to declare like this. Shout it again. Say, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Shout it again. Say, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I wiped out every mark of the enemy in my body. In the mighty name of the Lord. Pray for your children too. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I wiped out every mark of the enemy in, the, in my body. Blood of Jesus, wipe them out. Every mark of the enemy in my body be wiped out by the blood of Jesus. Be terminated by the blood of Jesus. Be wiped out. Be wiped out. Be wiped out by the blood of Jesus. Every mark of the enemy in the life of any of our children, blood of Jesus, mark, wipe them out. Wipe them out. Wipe them out. Wipe them out by the blood of Jesus. Be wiped out by the blood of Jesus. Every mark of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus, they are wiped out. I want us to pray again. I want you to declare that they say, By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, shout it again. Say, By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I divert away every wicked arrows. Targeted against me and my household in the mighty name of Jesus by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. I diverted away this morning every arrow of, of, of every wicked arrow that has been targeted against me and my household be diverted away by the power of the blood. I divert them away. I divert them away back to sender. Be diverted away. I divert them away. I divert them away. Every arrow of the wicked targeted against you and your household by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. I Divert them away now. Be diverted away. Be diverted away. Be diverted away. In the name of Jesus, I divert them away. I divert them away now. In the mighty name of Jesus, no arrow of the wicked will touch you and your household. It will not touch us. It will not touch our work. It will not touch our ministry. In the name of Jesus, we are still praying. I want to declare that they say, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, shout it again. Say, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, say, I shield myself and my household from the terror of the night and the arrows that flies by the by day. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I shield myself and my household from the terror by the night and by the, and the arrows that flies by day. In the name of Jesus, I shield myself. I shoot my household. I shoot this ministry but, uh, from the terrors. Uh, and uh, from, uh, uh, from the terror by the night and the arrows that fly by day, I shoot them. They will not touch us. They will not touch our children. They will not touch our home. They will not touch my people. In the name of Jesus, they will not touch my, my life. In the name of Jesus, they will not touch any of our children. They will not touch anyone other in our household. In the name of Jesus, I shield uh, uh, my household. With my, uh, 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 yes, uh, from the terror by night and the arrows that fly by day, they will not touch us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are shielded. We are still praying. I want to declare that they say, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Shout it again. Say, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I am delivered from the snare of the Father and from the perilous pestilence. In the name of Jesus, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I am delivered from the snare of the Father. My children, I they are delivered from the snake of the uh, of the pest of the snake of the father and perilous pestilence. We are delivered from them. We are delivered from them. In the name of Jesus, you are delivered from the snake of the father and every perilous pestilence. You are delivered tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are still praying. I want to declare that this say, Father Lord, mm. declare it again. Say, Father Lord, deliver me and my household. From the 
pestilence that walk in darkness and from destruction that lay waste at noonday. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, begin to declare right now. Father Lord, deliver me and my household from the pestilence that walk in darkness and from destruction that lay waste at noonday. Deliver us, O Lord. Deliver us, O Lord. Deliver me, O Lord. Deliver our children, O Lord. Deliver our household, O Lord, from every pestilence that walk in darkness and from uh, and from destruction that lay waste in the new day. O Lord, deliver us. O Lord, deliver us. They will not be their portion. We will not be their subject. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, deliver us from them, from the pestilence that walk in darkness and from destruction that lay waste as new day. O Lord, deliver us, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have been delivered. Amen. I want you to declare again. I want you to declare again. Say, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ah, shout it again. Say, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No evil shall befall me and my household. Nor shall any plague come near my dwelling. In the mighty name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ. No evil shall befall for me. Oh, no, you are. Oh, that day like her. And every member of my household, no evil shall be for me. And this ministry, my hand, and all the people that you have given to me, no evil shall be before us, uh, and no plague shall come near our dwelling in the name of Jesus. Uh, no plague will come near this ministry in our hands in the name of Jesus. There is no plague that will come near you that you are hearing my voice in the name of Jesus. The Lord will deliver us. Uh, oh Lord, you will, you will deliver us, oh Lord, tonight uh, 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 from every plague oh, uh, uh, in the name of Jesus that, that no evil will fall upon us. No evil will come upon us. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will deliver us from every evil. He will deliver our loved one from every evil. No, no plague shall come near our dwellings. In the name of Jesus, no plague shall come near this ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying. Amen. Three more prayer points. I want to declare that they say, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, shout it. Say, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Shout it again. Say, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I, Ulumu, you are under the lecker. And the children the Lord has given to me, shall, we shall not be sacrificed on any evil altar. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare, I, Ulumu, you are, Ulumi, they are the And all the children that God has given to me, we shall not be sacrificed on any evil altar. In the name of Jesus, uh, our blood will not be sacrificed on any evil altar. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will preserve us. The Lord will preserve us. I pray for all these people. In the name of Jesus, uh, the Lord will preserve your soul. You will not be sacrificed. Your blood will not be sacrificed on any evil altar. In the name of Jesus, uh, I shall not be sacrificed on any evil altar. My children shall not be sacrificed on any evil altar. The Lord will preserve me. The Lord will preserve me. The Lord will preserve me. In the mighty name of Jesus, we shall be preserved. Two more prayer points. Two more prayer points. I want us to declare that they say, You art, you point to the art. Shout, he say, You art, hear the word of the Lord tonight. You will not swallow me, you will not swallow our children before their time. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, begin to pray. You pray for yourself first and pray for your loved ones by the power. In the name of Jesus Christ, yeah, you act. Uh, hear the word of the Lord. You will not swallow me before my time. You will not swallow me. You, uh, you act. Hear the word of the Lord. You will not swallow my children before their time. In the name of Jesus, uh, we will not be buried before our time. We will not 
die on timely death eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will preserve us. The Lord will preserve us in the name of Jesus. The earth will not swallow us before our time. Oh, the earth will not swallow us untimely. We shall not be swallowed untimely. The Lord will protect us. The Lord will bear with us. Thank you, Father. We are shielded by the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. We are prayed. Amen. Finally, I want to declare this. We are going to pray this seven times and then we stop. I want you to declare that this. Say, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I dip myself into the blood of Jesus Christ. Let's go down. Number one, I dip myself into the blood of Jesus Christ. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I dip myself and my children into the blood of of Jesus Christ. Number three says, say, I dip myself and my household into the blood of Jesus Christ. How are you dipping yourself into the blood of Jesus? Declare it again. Say, by the power in the name of Jesus, I dip myself into the blood of Jesus Christ. I dip my children into the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, you are declaring again. Say, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I dip myself into the blood of Jesus Christ. I dip my children into the blood of Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, six times now. Shout it. Say, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I dip myself into the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, finally, I want to declare by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I dip myself into the blood of Jesus Christ. No evil shall befall us. No evil shall come upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. We give you honor. We give you praise, Lord. Thank you for answering our prayer. Lord, continue to preserve us and our household. Shield us, O oh Lord. Shield our home. Be with us in our going and in our coming in. Let your eyes go through and fro for our sake. Show us your mercy. Because it is by your mercy that we have not been consumed. Show us your mercy. That by your mercy we shall not be consumed. In the name of Jesus. That your presence will go ahead of me. It will preserve us. Your presence will preserve us. Will shield us. You will deliver us from every snake of the fowler. No evil shall come near our dwelling. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In this month that remains to the end of this year, no evil shall befall any one of us. There is no accident, no incident, no calamity in the name of Jesus. Because the Lord has preserved us. We have been shielded with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen. What a night again. I want to pray on your prayer request. I pray, Lord. On this prayer request, that you will answer them speedily. That, Lord, every request that still remains, answer them. Let these people return back rejoicing after this fasting. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Glory be to God. Keep on monitoring your dreams. And let's continue to pray. And God is going to answer us speedily. In the name of Jesus. Have a good night. God bless you. Amen. Amen.